what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan YouTube channel and we have installed first room which is based on CAF on our Redmi Note 8 and the name of this room is reloaded OS and what's the difference between CAF rooms and USB based rooms if you want to check it out you can just go to Google and search for CAF based rooms what is CAF it's just code or our forums and it is it has some little bit of differences between AOSP and CAF that does not matter if it has some customizations or not because the customization doesn't matter what matters it actually the AOSP focus on software and CF based on the focus on hardware capabilities of your CPU and battery and a lot of kind of things and if you want detailed kind of things you can go and check it out on Google that how it works and what's the difference between CF and AOSP now we've installed the reloaded OS let's find out how is this room till now Okay guys, let me show you once that this is Reloaded OS which is based on Android version 10 as you can see Reloaded version 10 official for my Redmi Note 8. It's officially available for a lot of Xiaomi devices including Redmi Note 7 and a lot of Xiaomi devices. I'll provide the link in the description for all the devices which are officially supported and if a device is not officially supported maybe you have unofficial build available and if it's not unfortunately you can't install it. CF rooms are always better in the terms of performance if you compare it with AOSP and yes it's perfectly fine I'm using a custom kernel here by the way let me show you once I'm using the custom kernel called Inception v6.4 for my Redmi Note 8 and if you want to install Inception kernel you can go and install it and how to install this Inception kernel I'll put the link in the description for that video so you can go and check it out now let's move on to some other cool kind of things first of all the default look is quite, uh, quite great actually I have installed a launcher called launcher from the Google Play Store so I have the Google Pixel feed. I, I am installed all these kind of things on my own. CF does not focus on features by the way and that's why it does not have that kind of features but still it's good in the terms of performance because of the performance I have I have just loved this room so much till now also if you talk about the quick settings panel and everything else everything is going on very smooth even the app opening and app closing is quite fine and whatever else we do it's quite fine here as you already know that I always use Magisk latest version called Magisk 20.4 so yes its main focus is to check out how's the safety net status is it passed or not and unfortunately the CTS profile is not good right now in my case uh, the thing is it should be there it should be passed here but still actually in my opinion let me show you one thing that Google Pay is perfectly working in my case and that's why I have chosen this build on my device it's perfectly fine here if banking apps are perfectly working what do we need else banking apps are perfectly fine here and a lot more things are there which are perfectly fine also the battery backup is quite good as you can see it's 65% till now and it was quite amazing battery backup till now I got approximately of 9 hours to 10 hours SOT yesterday so that's why I am saying that this room is perfect at all also let me show you one more thing if you're a Redmi Note 8 user, uh, the Geekbench score is not good for you. Yes, I was expecting better Geekbench score, but yes, a lot of things depends upon the Geekbench scores. So maybe in my case, I'm getting 1273 of multi-core score and 308 is a single core score. But maybe in your case, it may be different thing, but it will not affect that much because if you think it's 1273, maybe you will get maximum 1300 or maximum 1305 approximately. You will not get 1350 or 1400 that was the highest one ever in redmi note 8 but yes that doesn't matter these are just scores and if the performance is quite good it's good for daily use then what else we need as I already told you that it does not include any kind of features at all but still it's quite good first of all let me show you the battery percentage 2 hours and 4 minutes from 90% to 65 with actually the uh, LTE and also the hotspot so the, this type of battery backup is quite good yesterday I got approximately 9 hours and 45 minutes clean on time which in my case it's quite good maybe in your case depends upon your usage so that it might be increased but 
but in my case it's quite fine if we talk about the display settings we don't have any extra features at all but yes we have some fonts customization which are my favorite one so that i can apply the google sans fonts which are my favorite and also it has the oneplus fonts options are available so that if we wanted to install them we can use them also it has the xiaomi parts option available so that you can use a mini sound enhancer in a custom room that's quite impressive and including that with the reloaded tuner which has some customizations but these are not enough for a customization rubber if you're a customization lover i will not recommend you to use this build but yes if you need performance mainly performance not well, not talking about the battery backup maybe other rooms have better battery backup than this in my opinion but yes if you talk about performance it's quite good and it's quite impressive Talking about the status bar customization, we have the status bar icons and Volti icons etc. But in my case, Vo Wi-Fi icon is not there. As you can see, I have the Volti icon. I have enabled the Wi-Fi calling option, but still didn't got the Vo Wi-Fi calling, Vo Wi-Fi icon on the status bar. Maybe that's a bug or whatever else, but it's not working fine here. We have the network traffic monitor and nothing else in the status bar customizations. Also, we talk about the lights. We only have the enable notification light and enable battery light, including that we have the navigation bar layout only. Nothing else. Also, the lock screen does not have that much customizations. Only the fingerprint authentication and some shortcuts customizations, etc. Power menu only have the advanced restart, but does not include screen recorder and other things. Yes, screenshot is almost there as you can see, but screen record might be there too. Always on display, nothing else. These are some customization features. But as I already told you, if you if your main focus is on performance, go and try it out. This, try it out this room right now. Now this is all from today's video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, this room does not come with the Google Apps pre-installed, so it's recommended you to install Google Apps also alongside with this build. And you can install the latest Magic 20.4 if you want to, or you can use the Magic 20.3 to pass safety net. Now this was all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.